Good morning, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter. Sorgatron.com is the, well, it used to be a blog. Now it's just where I host this stuff. Hey, follow the Good Morning with Michael Sorg on iTunes and YouTube, please. So you don't miss uh, if you really want to hear me converse about random things. But I guess that's why you're here in the first place. Anyways, um, looking at... Uh, so as you know, I'm I'm at this uh, point where I'm independent. I'm incorporated as Sorgatron Media, as I brought up and wore a tie on the podcast uh, last week. Um, and the more and more as I do this stuff, and I'm heading into a big weekend, uh, for instance, uh, with uh, RWA and uh, another shoot for the Shady Size Democrats, and and uh, uh, I looked at there's like three coffee meetings I'm having, like between. The, today and tomorrow and 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 need to move forward as as a person as a professional and as a business and i don't get days off um I mean, not that I don't get days off, but I don't get paid days off, for for instance. And even sitting there last night and, uh, you know, Wednesdays, uh, I like to call my podcast Hangover, where I'm doing a lot of the uh, kind of kind of uh, uh, decompressing of the night before. It's a late night doing the shows um, and, and, and I'm doing all the social and the last minute editing and posting and splitting up of, of content because uh, we do so much there on Tuesdays. Um, and, and, and whatever else catch up I need to do that, that I was blinded to because I was in the middle of production for most of Tuesday and, and a client on Monday usually. Um, but I was feeling under the weather as I'm sitting there and watching my Gotham last night at NXT, right? Like, like actually trying to decompress a little bit. Um, and I got the thing is like, I'm, I'm feeling a little sick. I got all this stuff going on. What do you do? You know, this, this interesting thing where, um, you're not allowed to get sick, you know? Um, I've been, you know, knock on wood and, and I've had a couple of times where I've had some close calls, but, uh, when I have a shoot to do and, uh, and a contract to do the shoot, et cetera, I have to be there. Um, what do I do when I get sick? Now, now granted it, 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 something really, really, really bad has to happen for me to not make a shoot to not do something like that. And again, I've not had that issue, uh, uh yet. Uh, again, knock on wood, knock on whatever the hell this is made out of. Um, and, and, and that interesting thing, and, 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 and I came from, uh, even, you know, a job where, uh, I was really made to feel a lot, of, really guilty, uh, to take a sick day, for instance. Um, and, uh, and I don't know if that's, what's kind of crossed over, but I got to think a certain level of professional. Yeah. You can't take a sick day. If you're on deadline, if you got something, you know, um, um, you know, I, uh, my wife has a, has the issue where she will go in she's like, she's like, I have to be, uh, I think puking or not able to move to not go into work. And that, and even if I go in and they send me home, then fine, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not going to feel like I went by. And that's the other thing too. When I, I am sick, uh, a few months ago, I was put down for, for a few days. Uh, I barely made it through the podcasts. For instance, I, I, I barely got them all up, you know, uh, the next morning and uh, and I was gone out for about three days and most of the weekend. Um, thankfully, there wasn't a shoot. Thankfully, there wasn't all this other stuff scheduled. Um, thankfully, he was one of my lulls in, in my in my in my uh, in my bookings, you know, um, but I got to think what happens to me one week when it is like, wow, I got a full week. Oh, I can't lay here in bed, you know, um, to what extent and how bad does it have to get? Um, watching a show, uh, you know, everybody knows Dwight Schrute from The Office doing a show um, not called Backstrom now. And uh, uh, apparently he's a fellow who hasn't taken care of himself, uh, drinks, uh, you know, and and is not very pleasant to people on top of things. Um, and they, they had a really interesting episode uh, last week where they said uh, something about your body ha makes a decision and because he was pushing himself so long so hard and there's other stuff like he's like under an investigation or something and he ends up having what he thinks is a heart attack turns into a panic attack um and that really goes with a lot of stuff that uh we talk about when you know with my client out in Claire, the mindfulness taking care of your body kind of thing and and i wonder about that and and what am i doing to my body uh when i push myself in 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 these ways you know not physically so much it's not like i have a very taxing 
physical job, although I am attempting to do more like standing, standing desk and, uh, and, 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 uh, I got an exercise ball for the office. I'm waiting to get one here for the podcast studio guys, maybe, maybe in the near future. And then everybody will have that video where the ball pops like Leo Laporte. It's all over YouTube. Um, anyways, uh, but no, trying to, trying to do that and a few other things. Um, um, in a complete blogging form. Hey guys, I lost a couple pounds. <laughs> um, but what does happen? Um, uh, thankfully, uh, I'm getting to a point, and, and I've been doing a lot of interviewing for because uh, we did have a scare. We had a lot of stuff happen um, where uh, we lost a videographer through very, very unfortunate means. And um, you know, another one is uh, I'm not saying threatening to leave. Just let me know that something may happen very soon where they can't be around anymore. Um, and I one, I love the response that I've gotten. I got like out of nowhere six people saying, "Yeah, I'll do that," you know. And we're talking about, you know, uh, hey guys, do you want to film some pro wrestling? Not like, hey guys, here's a full on videography gig that pays in well three digits. Let's be honest. Um, there's just not the budget there with the uh, with indie wrestling. Um, it's not a career maker, not yet, but. Uh, you know, but so many people cropped out of the woodwork and I'm, I've been talking, you know, uh, trying to trying to take meetings with a lot of these guys, talk to them, figure out who's going to work where. And a lot of it really is like, OK, does this guy's personality fit? You know, does he actually like wrestling? Because let's be honest for the pay. I hope you just like being there in the first place. Um, we're trying to change that. Uh, but, uh, you know, hopefully at a certain point here, if something happens, you know, and you know, hey, if I have a kid here soon, you know, um, so much so much more can go wrong if you have a kid. I know vicariously through my friends who have kids and other podcasters that have kids and, and hearing about those situations. You're not just the master of your destiny anymore, right? Um, so there's a lot of dealing with that and, and dealing with the unexpected. There's a very good talk, actually, um, and I hope I get the name right. Kate Daly, research, uh, I'm sorry, um, um, Refresh Pittsburgh a few weeks ago. Let me see if they, they still have that. Uh, Tiki Kate, she is on Twitter, and she actually also did a great presentation on pitching your podcast at PodCamp. That's a lot of peace. Um, that's more than the slice ad. Um, over on PodCampPittsburgh.com, you can find that. I, I just posted that a few weeks ago, actually. Um she actually had something about Zen and project management and, and, and something like that. And it turned into dealing with the unexpected, which is a little bit of project management and dealing with clients and, and, and such too. And, um, you know, it really got into that. It's, it, and she, she kind of went through, I wonder if I have notes actually. Um, she went through a lot of that, uh, uh you know, how do we deal with the unexpected uh, for her, uh, that day, uh, that she was supposed to do this and this presentation and, and that and the other thing, um, you know, her kid knocked her tooth out at recess or PE or something. And they had to deal with that and take her into the dentist. And that just blows the entire day. I, I can't imagine. I can imagine, but, um, it was pretty, pretty incredible. Um, <laughs> But I'm looking at my notes right now. Um, but uh, but no, it, it, nothing's going to go right. And 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 unfortunately for you control freaks out there, ooh, you got to find a way around that. Um, I'm watching some of the control freaks when the things don't go well at work, when they their 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 coworkers are just like, I don't understand why they don't work the same way that I do, you know. Um, and uh, it's a lot to work around. So, uh, question of the week, geez. Uh, what do you do? What, what do you do? Do you have any fears of the unexpected? Do you, are you worried about uh, what what happens when you're not around? Um, I can phrase that so much better, I know. And hopefully I will by the time I post this uh, on the blog at Sorgatron.com. Uh, at Sorgatron on Twitter. Please subscribe to us on the YouTube, on the iTunes, uh, if you enjoy this kind of content. And others, too. A lot of technology stuff I've been talking about lately. This is a more touchy-feely kind of thing. Uh, so until next time, have a good morning. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.